Okay, folks, we are Monday, 27th of March, 2023. Welcome to a pre-US look ahead. So what we've got here uh, really is markets bid up uh, on the reopen of trade last night from uh, yesterday, with, or sorry, Friday, which was uh, generally a very difficult session. Looking at the S&P 500 here, um, really, you know, some big, big, big support levels coming into play down here. Um, which were really, the, I think the whole market was kind of watching what was happening here. It was a massive amount of absorption of yeah, uh, sellers here are. all the way through this session. And then you could see um, just here late, uh, kind of well, half three um, at the time, which um, actually half four at the time. Um, you can see that we uh, the sellers kind of gave up and just then a grind from the buyers back uh, to put in new highs. No bid at the bank. Sorry, yeah, just uh, quite Tony there for the squawker for a second. So, you know, I've held uh, longs on DAX here over the weekend and uh, it's paid off really as we've held quite nicely uh, so far. Well, certainly the spoos isn't something to be like shouting about. We're up 0.3. Um, I think there's a really massive test then coming in for the spoos, just a little higher here around that 40 40 mark. Um, if I look at this, it's uh, actually 40.25, sorry, high on day. So um, in and around here. So really need to monitor this area closely. I think if we manage to peep our head above here, I think we're going to have a run for a mile. Um, but if we if we hold this as high on day, I think uh, it's, I think, yes, well, I, 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 I would be looking to, I am currently looking hedging my DAX longs with shorts here on spoos. Um, so I'm not going to be holding shorts above here. That kind of gives you an idea of what I'm looking at here. Um, I would like to see the PVAH trade 39.94 is half, um, you know, before kind of turning, you know, if we trade below here, then I'd be looking probably for shorts against VWAP to trade down. So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if that's super helpful to people looking for longs or shorts, but here on the DAX, as you can see, you know, a uh, lovely um, bid up out of those lows there on Friday, um, maintaining newer highs on the reopen on electronic trade last night, quarter past midnight. Um, and uh, we're holding IB up above PVAH. So listen, chucks ahoy to the upside. Some big levels coming up at 15,360s. It's starting to look though, with the risk off move, the bonds are telling me something and they're telling me it's risk off. So you see the bond down here, 0.38, DAX up 0.57. I think we could tag on lower lows here on the bond today. And that is going to be DAX, certainly up to Q, uh, VWAP at 4, 15, 360. Uh, the dollar looking all threatening, holding on the 2020 high at 102 spot, 99s, we'll call it 103s. And uh, VIX really calming down from what was a crazy uh, bid up environment there on Friday. If you just look at this thing, I mean, this is actually um, this is actually a cra crazy move on VIX um, here on uh, Friday. This is going to chart cut there. The breath on it was about yeah twelve percent uh, on the move to the upside. So uh, I think maybe just you know people definitely buying put protection there on Friday. And uh, let's see if uh, they want to maintain uh, net buying on VIX today for the puts. Um, for me, I don't know. I'm hedged here on equities and short bonds. So that kind of tells you a little bit how I think of the market right now. A little bit of risk off. Uh, and why not? You know, the banking crisis, what's well, all over with? You know, I think if you look at Bloomberg, if you look at CNBC, if you look at Sky, uh, all of this stuff, you know, they're talking about banking crisis, this banking crisis, that, you know, but Deutsche Bank is, is was down almost 7% pre or on the market on Friday. It's now, I'd say net net only down about 2%, uh, you know, so, um, the dip has been bought in a lot of these banks. Um, FRC, I think is already having a great one on the pre-market here. And so listen, I think the fed, and the FDIC have stepped in and said, listen, we're, we're marking these treasury bonds on par and we're standing against all, um, all support, all, all deposits in North American, uh, banks. So, uh, you know, it's over, you know, the banking crisis effectively is over. 
are there are there going to be more risks and more contagion out there yeah probably um there could be a couple of shaky movements from you know um seeing what sort of liquidity certain smaller banks have on their on their on their balance sheet but the sibs the sibs the systematically important banks like uh goldman uh morgan stanley uh these bigger banks the core four they're fine and they're making out like bandits absorbing some of these guys and getting all these other deposits in from the regional banks and uh i think i think it's over and it's time to buy to buy and um i think the time to sell will be when the fed pivots and they start you know pausing or cutting rates and the market is talking about that happening potentially in june in june they're going to pause I don't think that's going to happen. If it does happen, it'll be absolutely insane. I thought they should have done 50 basis points hike um, at the last meeting. They did. They did 25. Fair enough. Um, you know, they do pander to the market and they are they don't want any failures on their hands and they don't want the public screaming at them because effectively they know the White House is going to be screaming at them if they don't if they don't provide a certain level of easing to the economy by you know taking a little bit easier on the rates which are going up too fast for essentially these banks risk managers to keep up with so if you're a top tier risk manager um you know congratulations you failed to do your job properly over the last year everyone knew we were raising rates everyone knew the bonds uh, yields would would double and uh you failed so you know you're the highest paid uh failure in the banking industry all right well done anyway i hate to go on but it pisses me off these people getting paid to roll around their office and they don't know what time of day it is all right so listen oil i think it wants for it wants to get over 70s but if you know with this stronger dollar it's going to find it very very hard I think we're going to need equities to continue up with the risk off trade bonds down equities up dollar down is what you're going to need to see for oil to get a life above 70 bucks so um a euro i mean i like the longs i don't think that's a patriotic bid there i think a patriotic idea i just think uh I just think the dollar, while it's holding 103s here, I just don't know how long can do it for, you know. And uh, I think I'm starting to see equities want to get higher. Um, and for them to get higher, the dollar is going to have to uh, capitulate down a little bit more below 103s. And I mean, a fall down here on the Dixie, fall down on the Dixie is not going to be easy. You know, you got a bit of a, a bit of strength coming in here. Um, so let's see let's see what what would that catalyst be for a lower dollar i don't know at this moment but you just cannot fight the dixie uh you just cannot fight it it's uh you know anyway all right that's it for me for another pre-us session um on the dow actually before i go i do like the look of the dow we're sandwiched here i like longs 32 198s up um and i like kind of shorts around where we are now and that well actually i don't like the shorts here but a push above here i'd be then probably looking to get long um above this area like apac lows then uh, if we push above here and then pull back on vwap get long and and 32.90 th uh 32.933s would be tally ho to the upside so and uh by the dip and then on we go to new highs how does that sound the fed have stepped in the liquidity's there you know it's the same as uh june 2020 you know the fed have stepped in with qe um it's just in a different guise right now all right that's all that's all i got um guys in the room will be doing the detailed tech look at these markets where to get long short at uh 145 all right take it easy